Hi, right, welcome back to another episode of Your Money Mindset, guiding you to achieve lasting financial freedom and peace of mind. I'm out here on my morning walk as I always do, and it is an absolutely stunning morning here in Northern California, my little town called Auburn. And uh, fall is here and it's starting to cool off. And uh, oh man, I'm just so excited. I couldn't wait to get over that heat we've been going through. I wanted to share with you a little story, kind of sets up what I wanted to talk about. I got a call from an old high school friend of mine and, um, and I could just tell the urgency in her voice. Um, very smart, um, very successful, um, is a realtor and uh, has done quite well. Um, but she's a single mom and has two kids, a 14-year-old daughter and a 17-year-old son, I believe. And I could just tell the panic in her voice. She's 51 years old and she has nothing to show for her, um, <clears throat> for her future. And it's quite tragic. And I get these calls all the time. You know, it's, people don't call me to say hi anymore. <laughs> but anyway, I'm happy I can help. And... Um, and the, the, the desperation in her voice was just chilling. And I know so many people out there, like maybe yourself, are going through the same thing. You're 50 or 60 years old and you have nothing to show for it. Now, I will say what she does have to show for it. She's got a lot of Gucci bags. She's got a beautiful um, high-end Mercedes. Um, she's gone to all the nicest restaurants. She's traveled the world. But as a result, she has nothing for her future, and she is absolutely terrified. I think she just, she, she explained to me she just woke up in the middle of the night in sheer panic and then called me uh, this morning. So I want to talk about a concept that I write about in my next book, it's called, uh, my next book, Wired for Wealth. And it's a, it's a concept um, I call consequential awareness. What that really means is, is becoming aware of the consequences of your habits, but in this case, your spending habits, and really understanding what those long-term consequences are. Too many times people don't. Um, they're running their lives so quickly. One, maybe have two jobs, they've got a family, um, they've got to put food on the table, um, all of that. But when it comes to spending money, they don't even think about what's gonna happen um, when, when, when they don't have that money for the future. And, um, and, and they don't think about the long-term consequences of buying unnecessary things with money they don't have most of the time to impress people that frankly really don't care. And um, it's a tragic situation. I know people come to me and say, well, John, it's just five bucks, 10 bucks, 20 bucks, whatever. Um, the flat screen, it wasn't $800. It was, it was $15 a month with financing. Yeah, lo and behold, um, it wasn't an $800 flat screen. It was actually a $1,400 flat screen when you account for all the interest. So a lot of times people aren't really thinking about this, the consequences. And, and, and yes, $5 a day makes a huge difference or can make a huge difference if you're applying that for your future. Um, almost, and I wouldn't say almost, I will say every situation, every client that I've worked with, I can always identify um, a lot of money that they are wasting on a monthly basis. And most of the time, people aren't even aware of it. They don't even know where their money is going. Um, and it startles them when they go back and they review all of their, their monthly expenses, their daily expenses, I should say, and they go, oh my gosh, I had no idea. You know, even putting $100, saving $100, what is that, $3 a day, $3.30 a day, um, can make a massive difference towards your future. I mean, I just ran the numbers, the compounding numbers of this. Um, by putting away uh, $100 a month over a 30-year time period, um, at an assumed rate of 8%. Now the stock market has done 10% over time. Let's assume 8%, a little bit more conservative. That would lead to $154,000 in 30 years. Make that $1,000 and now you're talking about $1.5 million. And I know a lot of you could be putting away at least $100, um, if not a lot more, even more than $1,000. I've seen it myself. Um, and so it's just so important that you really take some time and think about some of those expenses that you've made that have just been so, so unnecessary. And, and so with that, you know, I, I, I just want to end. I've had too many conversations with people that have come to me and they've come into my office and they said, John, you know, I've worked my tail off for the last 30, 35 years and I'm ready to retire. Here are my financials. And I can almost tell immediately there is no way they're going to be able to retire or there's no way they're going to be able to retire the way they had envisioned. They'd always envisioned themselves living. And it's just a sad, sad discussion to have. And, and that's why we see so many people, so many retirees, so many elderly people working at McDonald's or, or Walmart as greeters. And it's just, 
it's unnecessary and it doesn't have to be that way. So just to leave you with this, consequential awareness, really taking the time and slowing, slow thinking and, and um, being in the present moment and I know it can be hard. Our brains are running a million miles an hour. But slow think and really think about the consequences of that next purchase. So with that, I hope that was helpful. I've got a lot of resources on my website that you can implement immediately to start that journey to financial freedom and peace of mind now. Don't, to, don't forget to hit subscribe and leave a comment. would love, love, love to hear from you. With that, we'll see you next time. Upward and onward. Take care.